right there. This is Welsh ASMR 82. Hey, how are you doing? I really hope you're well. Um, today we're just going to do a quick map video. I'm basically just going to have a little look around North America. I was just having a little look on Google Maps and making some crazy discoveries. And I thought may as well do it together and help you sleep, as this is kind of what this channel's about. But because I do the channel's videos on stuff that I like already, it's the sort of thing that I kind of do by myself anyway. For example, I was looking over here and I was looking at Newfoundland and realized that Saint Pierre et Miquelon is here. And then I thought, oh my, I kind of recognize that. And it says Saint Pierre and Miquelon is a French archipelago south of the Canadian island of Newfoundland, so it's actually part of France. Sparsely populated Miquelon Lang Langlade Island Longlad Island contains the Grand Parachois Lagoon home to seabirds and seals. The busier Saint-Pierre island has a distinct French atmosphere with a cathedral and the Musée Héritage, which celebrates regional history. An island nearby, Île aux Marins, features an abandoned fishing village. So how crazy is that? France. So that means that they use the euro then, if it's part of France. It's very pretty. So, there is part of France. How crazy. Colonialism, eh? Um, I would like to investigate more of Canada, as I know relatively very little. Hmm, Cambridge Bay. And then we go, oh, Yukon. Hmm, such an interesting place. Um, this is the bit that really interests me. I think I've looked at it before. So that, hang on, Alaska, yes. So Canada stops there, and then that's actually Alaska that comes down on the coast. So that's the, that's the line, oh no, hang on, I'm confused. What's that line doing there then? So that, this here is Alaska. Yes, near Yakutat, Alaska. This is Canada. Yukon. And then this is a different state. What's this? Is it New England or something like that? Oh, it doesn't like that. Let's try and have a look. Telegraph Creek. British Columbia, Canada. Oh. So what was that line then? I thought that was the line between the States and Canada. Oh, no, clearly not. That is... Oh, that's a, between yeah, Yukon and... British Columbia. Right, okay, I got this. So this is Canada. This is the US. 
This is Canada. This is the US or Canada? Oh, that's Canada. Graham Island. Oh my god, how beautiful is that? I have a friend who used to live up here. And um, I think she lived in... Not Seattle, Vancouver, Vancouver Island maybe. And she said it is absolutely stunning. So... Oh my god, I'm totally confused again. So where does Canada come back in? So that's... Oh, okay. So that's the US. This is Canada. Okay. So Canada, Vancouver, and then the US starts again. And Seattle is just here. Okay. And um, I read an article about the line which, from this length, from this height, looks dead straight between Canada and the US until it gets to um, Minnesota. Although, look at that, why? Oh, there is a bit of rhyme and reason to it then. So that's the US. Angle Islet takes Northwest Angle, Minnesota, USA. And then that's Canada. And then all these little islands are separated out. Big Island, Dawson Island, so that's Canada. Okay, I've got this. And then it goes all a bit crazy down here. Where it gets into Grand Portage which is in the US, just Pigeon River, and then Crooks Day, okay, is in Canada. And then we just got a bit of France over here. <laughs> okay. Oh, which river is this? Um, river, lake, Lake Superior, okay, that's where that is. Lake Michigan, okay. I think I know where Michigan is now. Milwaukee, Chicago. Michigan, Detroit, Cleveland, Toronto. Look how close Canada is. So Toronto is literally up the road from London and Detroit. I mean, I say up the road. This is probably the distance between here and, like, Poland or something, but, um... How long, guys? Can you drop me a comment, please? My lovely North American uh, subscribers, how long would it take to drive between Toronto and Detroit? Okay, Lake Erie, Erie. Buffalo, Rochester. Rochester, what state's that in? Pennsylvania. Ah, okay, I thought it was close to New York. I feared it mentioned in a couple of, maybe it was, um, I'm trying to think. What would I have seen it on? Rochester. Rochester. <clears throat> Can't think. Syracuse. Ah, but now this is New York State. So this is, yeah, the city of New York is down there and I will do a video at some point on New York because I don't get it <laughs> if I'm completely honest with you if I get confused over Alaska then there's no chance really Newark Staten Island Brooklyn Manhattan the Bronx Queens and then I've never heard of Hempstead Westbury Bayshore Long Island of course What's above that? 
hard. Connecticut, really? I didn't realize Connecticut was there. Poughkeepsie, is that how you pronounce this one? Wappingers Falls. this area all day. Again, Montreal is here. Very close to Vermont. Now, I did a video on Maine recently, which is next door, isn't it? Yes. Maine. I've learned something, everyone. Maine is here. Vermont. Oh my god, New Hampshire. Are there two little states next to each other? New Brunswick. So I learned the New Brunswick is in Canada. Canada, not France. <laughs> Nova Scotia, Prince Edward. Delaware, Virginia Beach, North Carolina, South Carolina, Florida, Key West. Another thing that I often, um, shocked at is the distance, yes, here, yeah, between some of the Caribbean islands and South America. So you've got Aruba here, which is an ex-Dutch colony. I don't think it's current Dutch, maybe it is, I'm not sure. Oh, it is. Aruba is an island and a constituent country of the Kingdom of the Netherlands. Oh, we're going to Wikipedia. Papiamento. Is that a local language? Um, Aruba is an island and a constituent country of the Kingdom of the Netherlands in the mid-south of the Caribbean Sea, about 29 kilometers north of the Venezuelan peninsula of Paracona. Guana, Guana and 80 kilometers northwest of Curaçao. Curaçao is another ex-Dutch, isn't it? Uh, Papiamento de Curso is a lesser Antilles island country in the southern Caribbean Sea and the Dutch Caribbean region. It is a constituent country in Dutch land of the Kingdom of the Netherlands, together with Ar Aruba, Aruba and Bonaire, it forms the ABC islands. Collectively, Curaçao, Aruba and other Dutch islands in the Caribbean are often called the Dutch Caribbean. Makes sense. I love the flag. Curaçao, Corso. Himno de Corso. Oh wow. So what? Is Papiamento a, a Portuguese-based Creole language spoken in the Dutch Caribbean? Oh, I would understand it then. It is the most widely spoken language on the Caribbean, ABC Islands, Aruba, Bonaire and Curaçao, having official status in Aruba and Curaçao. Papiamento is also a recognized language in the Dutch public bodies of Bonaire, Sint Eustatius and Saba with 300,000 native speakers Okay Oopsie I'll just get rid of that Oh, that's it So I don't want to do that Aruba and that's Venezuela. Look how close they are. And then the ABC, so Curaçao is there. And this is still Venezuela, isn't it? Chichiriviche. Chichiriviche. And I'm guessing this is Bonaire. Bonaire, Leovarden, Kralendijk, Rincon, Labra. And then I 
I think Trinidad and Tobago has got a similar, yeah, there we are. Similar thing going on also with Venezuela, actually. So Trinidad and Tobago. I mean, you're talking about beautiful countries, wow. Trinidad and Tobago is a dual island Caribbean nation near Venezuela with distinctive Creole traditions and cuisines. Trinidad's capital, Port of Spain, host, hosts a boisterous carnival featuring calypso and soccer music. Numerous bird species inhabit sanctuaries such as the Asa Wright Nature Center. The smaller island of Tobago is known for its beaches and the Tobago Main Ridge Forest Reserve, Reserve which shelters hummingbirds. I saw a hummingbird in England last summer. It was so hot. I mean, it's in touching distance. You could possibly swim it, couldn't you? Crazy. So that's, that is Venezuela though, is it? Yes, it is. Nueva Esparta, Venezuela. I think some of the other crazy things. So these are islands. Northumberland. What? <laughs> What's it doing? Ecuador. Segunda zona naval de la Armada de Ecuador. So that is part of Ecuador. Oh, they are the Galapagos Islands, Islas Galapagos. Very famous for turtles, I believe, and wildlife in general. But if you look how far away from Ecuador they are, I mean, on a map it doesn't look that much, but when you consider that it's Quite a long way away. So we've got South America here. So these are three countries which are a bit weird. Guiana, Suriname, Suriname and French Guiana. Is French Guiana still part of France? Overseas Department of France on the northeast coast of South America. Suriname, I think, is part of the Dutch Kingdom. Suriname is a small country, it's not that small, on the northeastern coast of South America. It's defined by vast swathes of tropical rainforest. Dutch colonial architecture and a melting pot culture. But am I able to see Peter Popper's Alaga Babaja consecrating in 1985? So is it? It doesn't say whether it's still part of the Netherlands and Guyana, which I think used to be part of Britain. Guyana, a country on South America's North Atlantic coast, is defined by its dense rainforest. English speaking, with cricket and calypso music, it's culturally connected to the Caribbean region. Its capital, Georgetown, is known for British colonial architecture including tall, painted timber, St. George's Anglican Cathedral. A large clock marks the facade of Starbrook Market, a source of local produce. Why 
is there a dotted what's going on with that border? Why is it not a solid border? Is it disputed? Ciudad Bolivar, Guiana City. a video on m many years ago actually now on the Caribbean Turks and Caicos Islands Jamaica, the Bahamas Miami Cuba so Cancun is just here not far from Cuba at all I think Cuba yeah, Key West is so close that's part of Florida and um, I find this so the same friend who used to live in um, Canada what did I say it was um, has family here or used to have family here in the Florida Keys and I find this area so fascinating because it's basically a bunch of islands jutting out into the Caribbean connected by a really long road and bridges so you see a connecting line you think oh they're all connected but that's a bridge just in the middle of the sea where hurricanes go and this place gets battered by hurricanes as well can you imagine driving from the end all the way up But I imagine it's probably... Oh, wow, look at that. Oh, my goodness. It might be worth it, guys. Let's move there. Oh, wow. That is a shot. Maybe it's called Marathon. Because it's a race to get there. Between me and you. <laughs> anyway. So yeah, it goes all the way down, keeps going, and Key West is at the bottom. So this is the USA. And then Cuba is like... Oh, where's it gone? Come back, Cuba. Here. So Havana, actually, the capital is just not far at all. Marquesas Keys. Is that still part of the US? Oh my god, it keeps going to old. Is it Canada for a second? Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And then, talking about crazy borders, I believe there's a crazy border here. Yeah, Tijuana. So, let's see if I can, if I change this to satellite, yes, this would work. I did this on another video, so try and check it out. I think it's on my California state video. So we've got Tijuana here. And then Chula Vista, that's such a funny name. Chula's like Chula's like cool, isn't it? Yes, it was Chulo. Yeah. Cool view. Chula Vista. So 
you got this massive area of Tijuana here, really heavily built up. And then you cross over and you've got the US just there. It's just... Oh, is that the Rio Grande? No, it's the Tijuana River, which looks a bit dry. So yeah, that board is a bit mental, look at that. United States, Mexico. So are you telling me there's a road and one side of the road is America and the other is Mexico? Oh my word, this gets more bizarre. What am I going to call this video? Bizarre borders in America. So we took a look together at um, Canada, France, apparently, the US, um, Venezuela, some parts of the Dutch Kingdom, Trinidad and Tobago, and and a little bit of Mexico as well. So that was fun. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then could you press like for me, please? And also drop me a comment if you know a little bit more about these countries and borders, and if there are any more borders that you'd like me to look at. If you know about this strange checkered border here, would you please also drop a comment for me and explain that, please? I have a feeling it's because it's a disputed border, but um, I didn't know that before, so that would be interesting to know. So yeah, drop me a comment, uh, give me a like if you enjoyed the video. If you're new to the video and new to the channel, then hello. Um, press subscribe if you like this video, and um, yeah. I'll uh, look forward to speaking to you all very soon, okay? Take care, everyone. Have a lovely rest, and uh, speak soon.